Welcome to week six and the assignment. Today we will ask you to write a program which accesses the Apple iTunes search service. And this looks complicated. However, if we use our requests library, then most of the complicated paths will be done with just a few lines. What you do is you hand over a search string and what you get back is then a result in the JSON data format. JSON is a format which is used in the internet to forward and uh, data. And what you can see that is that the JSON format is quite similar to Python um, data structures. Here we have something like a key value pair yeah, and of course this could be a dictionary and here you have something like a list. And there is a method offered by requests by this library which actually turns JSON into Python data structures. So the complete task can be, let's say, structured into three tasks. The first one will be we have to compose this search string. So we have to get, let's say, the name of the band, the name of the, the artist, and uh, make it, uh, convert it into this kind of string. The second will be to request with our library this uh, Apple, Apple iTunes search service and turn the result, to turn the response into a Python data structure. And the last part will be to go through this uh, dictionary to this Python data structures, uh, these dictionaries and lists and pick those parts we really need to solve our task. So let's start. Let's start with the second part first, so with a request. Let's first copy this search string so that we have something to start with. And of course, we first, first need to import our requests library. Yeah, and then we assign what I just copied to this uh, variable search string. And then actually to call this requests library is quite easy. We simply say, for example, response equals to requests dot get and we simply have to use this search string as a parameter and uh, if we do so now you see it works however there is no output but we can have a look at the output for example by say response dot text um, okay there is an e missing and you can see there is lots of test text generated. However, it doesn't look really like a, a good data structure. So what we can do is better to say we convert it first. This is JSON. We con convert it first into a data structure which fits our need. We convert JSON into Python data structures by doing response um, dot JSON. Yeah, and then let's have a look at response. Yeah, and you see. It's the same content, however, and now it turns out that this is a dictionary, which a key value pair, another key value pair, and actually the second key value pair, uh, here we have the value is a list. So what we can do right now is simply the following. The result count is actually one of the results we need. And you see the search returned 50 results. So what we can do in here is simply say count equals to um, response result count. Now we can print it out in the right form. So you can say um, copy and paste it in here and of course this should be then our count. Uh, 
button. So let's check if it works. The search returned 50 results. Let's again have a look at the response. Yeah, so the second one results, the second key results, and the corresponding value is a list. So what we can say, and actually, um, this list is the list of albums. So what we can say is list albums equals to um, response. And here we enter our results. And now we can iterate through our list of albums. So let's say for album in list albums. And what we can see here as well, the uh, list is a list of dictionaries. So let's first have a look how this dictionary looks like. Uh, so again, I say for key comma value in album dot items. Yeah, I print out our key and the value and to simply better see where this uh, new album starts, I enter a few more lines, empty lines. So what you can see in here, okay, these ones should not be in here, but uh, there. So what you can see in here is we have our search returned 50 results. This is our first album, goes until here. And what you can see is we always have key value pairs like wrapper type, it's a collection, collection type is an album. However, what we are looking for is, as you can see here, we are looking for the artist, we are looking for the album, and we are looking for the track count. Yeah, so let's check if we can find it. The artist is artist name. So what we get in here is um, artist equal to uh, album artist name. Do we get more? Um, we do get the album is a collection name. Uh, so let's say um, album name equals to album collection name and finally we have to have this track count yeah, so we say track count equals to album track count and now we can simply print out all of those artist album name and track count and we kick away those let's run it so what you can now see everything looks fine the only thing which needs to be done is we have to put it into the right form yeah, so let's uh, how it is phrased. This should be artist. We can put this print away because we don't need these empty lines anymore. So this already looks quite fine. So what have you reached? Having a look on our code. With these two lines, we have actually requested this Apple library. And with this few lines, we have then analyzed the code and filtered out the right output. What needs to be done? So far, we're always running for Ramones, but this is something we would like to check. So we should first ask for the artist we are looking for. So let's do it. Yeah, so we can say, um, artist equals to input please 
enter a search term. And of course, then we have to somehow include it in here. Yeah, so there's different ways to do so. So one proposal could be, we say, we take this search term until here term equal to. Now we put away this part and say plus artist plus entity album. So let's first have a look if this looks okay. Print search string. Now let's say Ramones. This worked fine. Now there seems to be something wrong. Mm, plus uh, bad operand. Okay, this comma has to disappear again. Ramones. Yeah, and we have this search string. In the long run, we do not need this anymore. So let's again have a look. We now go for cache. And you can see we get our 50 results for um, Johnny Cash. We can go for other artists. Let's uh, try with Beatles. And again, we get 50 results. Obviously, the uh, Apple API max at maximum turns back 50 results. The whole thing seems to work fine.